space program and what caused it. Challenger mission STS-51L was launched on January 28, 1986, but exploded 73 seconds after liftoff. The entire crew of seven was killed, and the Challenger was completely destroyed. The investigation of the Challenger tragedy was performed by the Rogers Commission. Established and named for its chairman, former Secretary of State, William Rogers. The consensus of the Rogers Commission, which studied the accident for several months, and participating investigative agencies was that the accident was caused by a failure in the joint between the two lower segments of the right solid rocket motor. The specific failure was the destruction of the seals that are intended to prevent hot gases from leaking through the joint during the propellant burn of the rocket motor. The evidence assembled by the Commission indicated that no other element of the Space Shuttle system contributed to this failure. Although the Commission did not AF explain to any individuals, the public record made clear that the launch should not have been made that day. The weather was unusually cold at Cape Canaveral and temperatures had dipped below freezing during the night. Test data had suggested that the seals, called O-rings, around the solid rocket booster joints lost much of their effectiveness in very cold weather. What do truffles look like? A truffle has a rather unappealing appearance round and irregularly shaped with a thick, rough, wrinkled skin that varies in color from almost black to off-white. The fruiting bodies present on truffles are fragrant, fleshy structures that usually grow to about the size of a golf ball, they range from white to gray or brown to nearly black in color. There are nearly 70 known varieties of truffles, but the most desirable is the black truffle known as black diamond that grows in France's Perigord and Corsi regions as well as Italy's Umbria region. The flesh of the black diamond appears to be black, but it is actually dark brown, and contains white striations. The flesh has an aroma that is extremely pungent. The next most popular is the white truffle, actually off-white or beige, of Italy's Piedmont region. Both the aroma and flavor of this truffle are earthy and garlicky. Fresh truffles are available from late fall to midwinter and can be stored in the refrigerator for up to three days. Dark truffles are generally used to flavor foods such as omelets, polentas, risottos, and sauces. White truffles are usually served raw, they are often grated over foods such as pasta or dishes containing cheese, as their flavors are complementary. They are also added at the last minute to cook dishes. What was the typical lifespan of dinosaurs? The lifespan has been estimated at 75 to 300 years. 
Such estimates are educated guesses. From examination of the microstructure of dinosaur bones. Scientists have inferred that they matured slowly and probably had proportionately long life spans. What was the distribution of radioactive fallout after the 1986 Chernobyl accident? Radioactive fallout, containing the isotope cesium-137, and nuclear contamination covered an enormous area. Including Belarusia, Latvia, Lithuania, the central portion of the then Soviet Union. The Scandinavian countries, the Ukraine, Poland, Austria, Czechoslovakia, Germany, Switzerland, Northern Italy. Eastern France, Romania, Bulgaria, Greece, Yugoslavia, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. The fallout, extremely uneven because of the shifting wind patterns. Extended 1,200 to 1,300 miles, 1,930 to 2,090 kilometers, from the point of the accident. Estimates of the effects of this fallout range from 28,000 to 100. 000 deaths from cancer and genetic defects within the next 50 years. In particular, livestock in high rainfall areas received unacceptable dosages of radiation. What is menopause? Menopause is the cessation of ovulation and menstrual periods. The supply of follicles in the ovaries is depleted. Increasing the amount of follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, while decreasing the amount of estrogen and progesterone. The process may take one to two years. The years preceding the final menstrual period are known as perimenopause. Menopause usually occurs between ages 45 and 55, the average age in the United States is 51 to 52 years. Which muscle is the most variable among humans? The platysma muscle in the side of the neck is probably the most variable. It can cover the whole region in some people while in others. It is strap-like or in a few situations it is missing completely. Who was the first test tube baby? Louise Brown, born on July 25, 1978. Is the first baby produced from fertilization done in vitro outside the mother's body. Patrick Steptoe. 1913 to 1988 was the obstetrician and Robert Edwards 1939 the biologist who designed the method for in vitro fertilization and early embryo development in vitro fertilization occurs in a glass dish not a test tube where eggs from the mother's ovary are combined with the father's sperm in a salt solution Fertilization should occur within 24 hours, 
and when cell division begins these. Fertilized eggs are placed in the mother's womb, or possibly another woman's womb. Why are essential oils called essential? Called essential oils because of their ease of solubility in alcohol to form essences. Essential oils are used in flavorings, perfumes, disinfectants, medicine, and other products. They are naturally occurring volatile aromatic oils found in uncombined forms within various parts of plants, such as leaves and pods. These oils contain as one of their main ingredients a substance belonging to the terpene group. Examples of essential oils include bergamot, eucalyptus, ginger, pine, spearmint, and wintergreen oils. Extracted by distillation or enfleurage, extraction using fat, and mechanical pressing, these oils can now be made synthetically. What were the birth defects caused by the drug thalidomide? In the early 1960s, thalidomide was marketed as a sedative and anti-nausea drug. It was found to cause birth defects in babies whose mothers had taken the drug for morning sickness. Some babies were born without arms or legs. Others were born blind or deaf or with heart defects or intestinal abnormalities. Although some were mentally retarded, most were of normal intelligence. This tragedy led to much stricter laws regulating the sale and testing of new drugs. What are the seven Millennium Prize problems? The seven Millennium Prize problems are Birch and Swinert and Dyer conjecture, Hodge conjecture, Poincare conjecture, Riemann hypothesis, solution of the Navier Stokes equations formulation of the Yang Mills theory PVSNP. When and where was gunpowder invented? The explosive mixture of saltpeter, potassium nitrate, sulfur, and charcoal called gunpowder was known in China at least by 850 C. E and probably was discovered by Chinese alchemists searching for components to make artificial gold. Early mixtures had too little saltpeter, 50%. To be truly explosive, 75% minimum is needed to get a detonation. The first use of the mixture was in making fireworks. Later, the Chinese used it in incendiary-like weapons. Eventually it is thought that the Chinese found the correct proportions to utilize its explosive effects in rockets and bamboo bullets. However, some authorities still maintain that the Chinese gunpowder really had only pyrotechnic qualities. And true gunpowder was a European invention. Roger Bacon, 1214 to 1292, had a formula for it and so might have the German. 
monk Bertold Schwartz who is believed to have lived in the 14th century. The year 1353 is often given as the date of his invention of gunpowder. Its first European use depended on the development of firearms in the 14th century. Not until the 17th century was gunpowder used in peacetime. For mining and civil engineering applications. What are Landsat maps? They are images of Earth taken at an altitude of 567 miles, 912 kilometers. By an orbiting Landsat satellite, or ERTS, Earth Resources Technology Satellite. The Landsats were originally launched in the 1970s. Rather than cameras, the Landsats use multispectral scanners which detect visible green and blue wavelengths, and for infrared and near-infrared wavelengths. These scanners can detect differences between soil, rock, water, and vegetation, types of vegetation, states of vegetation, e. g. healthy slash unhealthy or underwatered slash well watered, and mineral content. The differences are especially accurate when multiple wavelengths are compared using multispectral scanners. Even visible light images have proved useful some of the earliest Landsat images showed that some small Pacific islands were up to 10 miles, 16 kilometers, away from their charted positions. The results are displayed in false color maps, where the scanner data is represented in shades of easily distinguishable colors usually, infrared is shown as red, red as green, and green as blue. The maps are used by farmers, oil companies, geologists, foresters, foreign governments, and others interested in land management. Each image covers an area approximately 115 square miles, 185 square kilometers. Maps are offered for sale by the United States Geological Survey. Other systems that produce similar images include the French spot satellites. Russian Salyut and Mir manned space stations, and NASA's Airborne Imaging Spectrometer, which senses 128 infrared bands. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratories are developing instruments that will sense 224 bands in infrared, which will be able to detect specific minerals absorbed by plants. How much water does the average family in the United States use per day? The average family in the United States uses 69.3 gallons, 262 liters, of water per day. This includes showers, toilets, faucets, dishwashing, clothes washing, faucets, and other uses. When did the use of lead-free fuel become mandatory in the United States? The sale of leaded gasoline for motor vehicles ended in 1996.
all vehicles manufactured. After July 1974 for sale in the United States were required to use unleaded gasoline. How old is the solar system? It is currently believed to be 4.5 billion years old. Earth and the rest of the solar system formed from an immense cloud of gas and dust. Gravity and rotational. Forces caused the cloud to flatten into a disk and much of the cloud's mass to drift into the center. This material became the sun. The leftover parts of the cloud formed small bodies called planetesimals. These planetesimals collided with each other. Gradually forming larger and larger bodies, some of which became the planets. This process is thought to have taken about 25 million years. How are new celestial objects named? Many stars and planets have names that date back to antiquity. The International Astronomical Union, IAU, the Professional Astronomers Organization, has attempted in this century, to standardize names given to newly discovered celestial objects and their surface features. Stars are generally called by their traditional names, most of which are of Greek, Roman, or Arabic origin. They are also identified by the constellation in which they appear. Designated in order of brightness by Greek letters. Thus Sirius is also called Alpha Canis Majoris. Which means it is the brightest star in the constellation Canis Major. Other stars are called by catalog numbers, which include the star's coordinates. Several commercial star registries exist, and for a fee you can submit a star name to them. These names are not officially recognized by the IAU. The IAU has made some recommendations for naming the surface features of the planets and their satellites. For example, features on Mercury are named for composers, poets, and writers. Features of Venus for women, and features on Saturn's moon Mimas for people and places in Arthurian legend. Comets are named for their discoverers. Newly discovered asteroids are first given a temporary designation consisting of the year of discovery plus two letters. The first letter indicates the half month of discovery. A equals first half of January. B equals second half of January, etc., and the second the order of discovery in that half month. Thus asteroid 2002 M was the 13th, M, asteroid discovered in the first half of March. E, in 2002. After an asteroid's orbit is determined. It is given a permanent number and its discoverer is given the honor of naming it. Asteroids have been named after such diverse things as mythological figures, Ceres, Vesta, an airline, Swissair, and the Beatles, Lennon, McCartney, Harrison, Star. Why are the horse latitudes called by that name?
the horse latitudes are two high pressure belts characterized by low winds about 30 degrees north and south of the equator. Dreaded by early sailors, these areas have undependable winds with periods of calm. In the northern hemisphere, particularly near Bermuda, sailing ships carrying horses from Spain to the New World were often becalmed. When water supplies ran low, these animals were the first to be rationed water. Dying from thirst or tossed overboard, the animals were sacrificed to conserve water for the men. Explorers and sailors reported that the seas were strewn with bodies of horses. Which may be why the areas are called the horse latitudes. The term might also be rooted in complaints by sailors who were paid in advance and received no overtime when the ship slowly traversed this area. During this time they were said to be working off a dead horse. Why is a lubricant, such as oil? often used to counter the force of friction. Lubricants, such as oil, are used to reduce friction. For example, in machines consisting of metal parts. The continuous rubbing of the parts together increases the temperature and creates heat. To prevent serious wear and damage to the machines, grease and oil are applied to reduce the friction. How much energy is saved by raising the setting for a house air conditioner? In general, for every 1 degree Fahrenheit the inside temperature is increased. The energy needed for air conditioning is reduced by 3%. If all consumers raised the settings on their air conditioners by 6 degrees Fahrenheit. For example, 190,000 barrels of oil could be saved each day. In the United States, what is the average height and weight for a man and a woman? The average female is 5 feet, 3.75 inches, 1.62 meters, tall and weighs 152 pounds, 69.09 kilograms. The average male is 5 feet, 9 inches, 1.75 meters, tall and weighs 180 pounds, 81.82 kilograms. Between 1960 and 2000 the average American male became 2 inches, 5 centimeters. Taller and 45 pounds, 20.45 kilograms, heavier while the average American woman also grew 2 inches. 5 centimeters, taller and gained 18 pounds, 8.18 kilogram. Who proposed the phlogiston theory? Phlogiston was a name used in the 18th century to identify a supposed substance given off during the process of combustion. 
the phlogiston theory was developed in the early 1700s by the German chemist and physicist George Ernst Stahl, 1660-1734. In essence, Stahl held that combustible material such as coal or wood was rich in a material substance called phlogiston. What remained after combustion was without phlogiston and could no longer burn. The rusting of metals also involved a transfer of phlogiston. This accepted theory explained a great deal previously unknown to chemists. For instance, metal smelting was consistent with the phlogiston theory. As was the fact that charcoal lost weight when burned. Thus the loss of phlogiston either decreased or increased weight. The French chemist Antoine Laurent Lavoisier demonstrated that the gain of weight when a metal turned to a calx was just equal to the loss of weight of the air in the vessel. Lavoisier also showed that part of the air, oxygen, was indispensable to combustion. And that no material would burn in the absence of oxygen. The transition from Stahl's phlogiston theory to Lavoisier's oxygen theory marks the birth of modern chemistry at the end of the 18th century. Does cat gut really come from cats? Cat gut, an absorbable sterile strand, is obtained from collagen derived from healthy mammals. It was originally prepared from the submucosal layer of the intestines of sheep. It is used as a surgical. Ligature. The major advantage of minimally invasive surgery is that it is less traumatic to the patient. There is less scarring, and recovery time is much quicker. Hospital stays are shorter. Where is the rainiest place on earth? The wettest place in the world is Mazinram, India. With an average annual rainfall of 467.4 inches, 1,187 centimeters, per year. Second place is Tutunandu, Colombia. With an average annual rainfall of 463.4 inches, 1177 centimeters per year It is estimated that Laro, Colombia receives 523.6 inches 1330 centimeters of rain per year but this amount has not been verified The place that has the most rainy days per year is Mount Waialeal on Kauai Hawaii. It has up to 350 rainy days annually. What is the difference between nuclear fission and nuclear fusion? Nuclear fission is the splitting of an atomic nucleus into at least two fragments. Nuclear fusion is a nuclear reaction in which the nuclei of atoms of low atomic number, such as hydrogen and helium, fuse to form a heavier nucleus. Although in both nuclear fission and nuclear fusion substantial amounts of energy are produced, 
the amount of energy produced in fusion is far greater than the amount of energy produced in fission. Who coined the phrase survival of the fittest? Although frequently associated with Darwinism, this phrase was coined by Herbert Spencer. 1820-1903, an English sociologist. It is the process by which organisms that are less well adapted to their environment tend to perish and better adapted organisms tend to survive. When were the major classes of plant hormones identified and who is associated with their identification? Oxen's Charles Darwin, 1809-1882, and his son, Francis, 1845-1925. Performed some of the first experiments on growth regulating substances. They published their 27 results in 1881 in The Power of Movement in Plants. In 1926, Fritz W. Went. 1903 to 1990, isolated the chemical substance. Responsible for elongating cells in the tips of oat, genus Avena seedlings he named this substance oxen from the greek term oxyen meaning to increase gibberellins in 1926 the japanese scientist iaki kurosawa discovered a substance produced by a fungus gibberella fujikuroi that caused a disease foolish seedling disease in rice Oryza sativa, seedlings in which the seedlings would grow rapidly but appear sickly and then fall over. The Japanese chemists Tejiro Yabuta, 1888-1977, and Yuzuk Sumiki, 1901-1974, isolated the compound. And named it Gibberellin in 1938. Cytokinin's Johannes van Overbeek discovered a potent growth factor in coconut. Coco's Nucifero, milk in 1941. In the 1950s Folky Skug, 1908-2001, was able to produce a thousandfold. Purification of the growth factor but was unable to isolate it. Carlos O. Miller, 1923. Skug. And their colleagues succeeded in isolating and identifying the chemical nature of the growth factor. They named the substance kinetin and the group of growth regulators to which it belonged cytokinins because of their involvement in cytokinesis or cell division. Ethylene even before the discovery of oxen in 1926. Ethylene was known to have effects on plants. In ancient times the Egyptians would use ethylene gas to ripen fruit. During the 1800s shade trees along streets with lamps that burned ethylene. The illuminating gas, would become defoliated from leaking gas. In 1901 Dmitry Neljabov demonstrated that ethylene was the active component of illuminating gas. Abscisic acid Philip F. Waring, 1914-1996 Discovered large amounts of a growth inhibitor in the dormant buds of ash and potatoes that he called dormin. Several years later in the 1960s, Frederick T. Adicott, 1912-2009, reported the discovery in leaves and fruits of 
a substance capable of accelerating abscission that he called abscisin. It was soon discovered that dormin and abscisin were identical chemically. Who introduced the gypsy moth into the United States? In 1869, Professor Leopold Trevelyan. 1827 to 1895, brought gypsy moth egg masses from France to Medford, Massachusetts. His intention was to breed the gypsy moth, Porthetria dispar. With the silkworm to overcome a wilt disease of the silkworm. He placed the egg masses on a window ledge, and evidently the wind blew them away. About ten years later these caterpillars were numerous on trees in that vicinity. And in twenty years, Trees in eastern Massachusetts were being defoliated. In 1911, a contaminated plant shipment from Holland also introduced the gypsy moth to Massachusetts. Gypsy moths are now found throughout the entire northeastern United States and portions of Virginia. North Carolina, Ohio, and Michigan. The gypsy moth lays its eggs on the leaves of oaks, birches, maples, and other hardwood trees. When the yellow hairy caterpillars hatch from the eggs, they devour the leaves in such quantities that the tree becomes temporarily defoliated. Sometimes this causes the tree to die. The caterpillars grow from 0.5 inch. 3 mm, to about 2 inches, 5.1 cm. Before they spin a pupa, in which they will metamorphose into adult moths. Which first aid measures can be used for a bite by a black widow spider? The black widow spider, Latrodectus mactans, is common throughout the United States. Its bite is severely poisonous, but no first aid measures are of value. Age, body size, and degree of sensitivity determine the severity of symptoms, which include an initial pinprick with a dull numbing pain, followed by swelling. An ice cube may be placed over the bite to relieve pain. Between 10 and 40 minutes after the bite, severe abdominal pain and rigidity of stomach muscles develop. Muscle spasms in the extremities, ascending paralysis, and difficulty in swallowing and breathing follow. The mortality rate is less than 1%, but anyone who has been bitten should see a doctor. The elderly, infants, and those with allergies are most at risk, and should be hospitalized. How many tentacles do the cephalopods have? Octopods have eight tentacles or arms, squids have ten tentacles. And there are as many as ninety in the chambered nautilus. What is a seed? A seed is a mature, fertilized ovule. 
it consists of the seed embryo and the nutrient-rich tissue called the endosperm. The embryo consists of a miniature root and shoot. Who developed plant breeding into a modern science? Luther Burbank, 1849-1926, developed plant breeding as a modern science. His breeding techniques included crosses of plant strains native to North America and foreign strains. He obtained seedlings that were then grafted onto fully. Developed plants for an appraisal of hybrid characteristics. His keen sense of observation allowed him to recognize desirable characteristics. Enabling him to select only varieties that would be useful. One of his earliest hybridization successes was the Burbank potato. From which more than 800 new strains and varieties of plants including 113 varieties of plums and prunes were developed. More than 20 of these plums and prunes are still commercially important today. What are the tasks of an operating system? An operating system is found in all computers and more. Recently in other electronic devices, such as cell phones. The operating system manages all the hardware and software resources of the computer. Operating systems manage data and devices, such as printers, in the computer. Operating systems today have the ability to multitask. Allowing the user to keep several different applications open at the same time. Popular operating systems for computers are Windows, Microsoft, OS X, Macintosh, and Linux. What was the first virus to be isolated in a laboratory? In 1935, Wendell Stanley, 1904-1971, of the Rockefeller Institute, known today as Rockefeller University, prepared an extract of the tobacco mosaic virus and purified it. What are the functions of the nervous system? The nervous system is one of the major regulatory systems of the body maintaining homeostasis. Its functions are to, 1, monitor the body's internal and external environments, 2, integrate sensory information, and 3, direct or coordinate the responses of other organ systems to the sensory input. How much energy does one wind turbine generate? The amount of energy one wind turbine generates depends on the size of the turbine and the speed of the wind through the rotor. Wind turbines have power ratings that range from 250 watts to 5 megawatts. MW 
the average U.S. household consumes approximately 10,000 kilowatts of electricity per year. One 10 kilowatts wind turbine can generate approximately 10. 000 kW per year or enough to power a typical household. A larger wind turbine will generate electricity for more homes. What is the phobia of the number 13 called? Fear of the number 13 is known as tridecophobia, tridecophobia, or triskydecaphobia. Persons may fear any situation involving this number, including a house number. The floor of a building, or the 13th day of the month. Many buildings omit labeling the 13th floor as such for this reason. A phobia can develop for a wide range of objects, situations, or organisms. What is a bug, biologically speaking? The biological meaning of the word bug is significantly more restrictive than in common usage. People often refer to all insects as bugs, even using the word to include such organisms as bacteria and viruses as well as glitches in computer programs. In the strictest biological sense, a bug is a member of the order Hemiptera, also called true bugs. Members of Hemiptera include bed bugs, squash bugs, clinch bugs, stink bugs, and water striders. What is Stib Knight? Stibnite is a lead gray mineral, SB2S3, with a metallic luster. It is the most important ore of antimony, and is also known as antimony glands. One of the few minerals that fuse easily in a match flame, 977 degrees Fahrenheit or 525 degrees Celsius. Stibnite has a hardness of 2 on the Mohs scale and a specific gravity of 4.5 to 4.6. It is commonly found in hydrothermal veins or hot springs deposits. Stibnite is mined in Germany, Romania, France, Bolivia, Peru, and Mexico. The Yellow Pine Mine at Stibnite, Idaho is the largest producer in the United States. But California and Nevada also have deposits. How much weight can an ant carry? Ants are the super weight lifters of the animal kingdom. They are strong in relation to their size and can carry objects 10 to 20 times. Their own weight some species can carry objects up to 50 times their own weight. Ants are able to carry these objects great distances and even climb trees while carrying them. This is comparable to a 100-pound person picking up a small car. Carrying it 7 to 8 miles on his back and then climbing the tallest mountain while still carrying the car.
How does RU486 cause an abortion? A pill containing RU486, Mipristone, deprives a fertilized embryo of a compatible uterine environment. Terminating a pregnancy within 49 days of fertilization. It was approved for use in the United States on September 28. 2000 It is taken under the supervision of a qualified physician in a clinical setting or physician's office. Sometimes it is used as an emergency contraceptive, morning after pill. After unprotected sexual intercourse even when more than 49 days have passed since the woman's last menstrual period. What is a mermaid's purse? Mermaids' purses are the protective cases in which the eggs of dogfish, skates, and rays are released into the environment. The rectangular purse is leathery and has long tendrils streaming from each corner. The tendrils anchor the case to seaweed or rocks and protect the embryos during the six to nine months it takes for them to hatch. Empty cases often wash up on beaches. What is an irrational number? Numbers that cannot be expressed as an exact ratio are called irrational numbers. Numbers that can be expressed as an exact ratio are called rational numbers. For instance, one half, one half, or 50% of something, is rational. However, 1.61803, CP, 3.14159, ti 1.41421 backslash slash 2 are irrational history claims that pythagoras in the 6th century bce first used the term when he discovered that the square root of 2 could 1 not be expressed as a fraction How do fishes swimming in a school change their direction simultaneously? He movement, which confuses predators, happens because fish detect pressure changes in the water. The detection system, called the lateral line, is found along each side of the fish's body. Along the line are clusters of tiny hairs inside cups filled with a jelly-like substance. If a fish becomes alarmed and turns sharply, it causes a pressure wave in the water around it. This wave pressure deforms the jelly in the lateral line of nearby fish. This moves the hairs that trigger nerves, and a signal is sent to the brain telling the fish to turn. What is the composition of cigarette smoke? Cigarette smoke contains about 4,000 chemicals. Carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, methane, and nicotine are some of the major components.
with lesser amounts of acetone, acetylene, formaldehyde, propane, hydrogen cyanide, toluene, and many others. What term was originally used for DNA? DNA was originally called nuclein because it was first isolated in 1869 from the nuclei of cells. In the 1860s Johann Frederick Miescher, 1844-1895 a Swiss biochemist working in Germany at the University of Tübingen lab of Felix Hoppe-Seeler, 1825-1895, was given the task of researching the composition of white blood cells. He found a good source of white blood cells from the used bandages that he obtained at a nearby hospital. He washed off the pus and isolated a new molecule from the cell nucleus. White blood cells have very large nuclei. He called the substance nuclein. How many people living in the United States are centenarians? The number of centenarians in the United States has increased steadily over the decades. The most recent census estimates, 2009, indicate there were 55,266 centenarians. Although the Census Bureau asks for age information in more than one way. The U.S. Census Bureau cautions that the figures may be somewhat skewed since birth certificates were not common until the 1930s. Good cholesterol. Conversely, if most cholesterol is in the form of low-density lipoproteins, LDL, or very low-density lipoproteins, VLDL, then arteries can become clogged. Bad cholesterol is the term used to refer to LDL and VLDL. Which countries in the world generate the most electricity using wind energy? Denmark receives approximately 20% of its electricity from wind energy. Spain and Portugal receive over 11% of their electricity from wind energy. In what ways are gymnosperms economically important? Gymnosperms account for approximately 75% of the world's timber and a large amount of the wood pulp used to make paper. In North America the white spruce, Pasea glauca, is the main source of pulp wood used for newsprint and other paper. Other spruce wood is used to manufacture violins and similar. String instruments because the wood produces a desired resonance. The Douglas fir, Pseudotsuga menziesii, provides more timber than any other North American tree species and produces some of the most desirable lumber in the world. The wood is strong and relatively free of knots. Uses for the wood include house framing plywood production, structural beams, pulpwood, railroad ties, boxes, and crates, 
since most naturally occurring areas of growth have been harvested. The Douglas fir is being grown in managed forests. The wood from the redwood Sequoia sempervirens is used for furniture. Fences, posts, some construction, and has various garden uses. In addition to the wood and paper industry, gymnosperms are important in making resin and turpentine. Resin, the sticky substance in the resin canals of conifers, is a combination of turpentine, a solvent, and a waxy substance called rosin. Turpentine is an excellent paint and varnish solvent but is also used to make deodorants. Shaving lotions, medications, and limonene lemon flavoring used in the food industry. Resin has many uses, it is used by baseball pitchers to improve their grip on the ball and by batters to improve their grip on the bat, Violinists apply resin to their bows to increase friction with the strings. Dancers apply resin to their shoes to improve their grip on the stage. What is the chemical composition of the ocean? The ocean contains every known naturally occurring element plus various gases, chemical compounds, and minerals. Below is a sampling of the most abundant chemicals. What is the prime meridian? The north-south lines on a map run from the North Pole to the South Pole and are called meridians. The word meridian means noon, when it is noon on one place on the line. It is noon at any other point as well. The lines are used to measure longitudes, or how far east or west a particular place might be. And they are 69 miles. 111 kilometers apart at the equator. The east-west lines are called parallels, and, unlike meridians, are all parallel to each other. They measure latitude, or how far north or south a particular place might be. There are 180 lines circling the Earth, one for each degree of latitude. The degrees of both latitude and longitude are divided into 60 minutes, which are then further divided into 60 seconds each. The prime meridian is the meridian of zero degrees longitude, used as the origin for measurement of longitude. The meridian of Greenwich, England, is used almost universally for this purpose. Do any animals besides people snore? Many animals have been observed snoring occasionally, including dogs, cats, cows, oxen, sheep, buffaloes, elephants, camels, lions, leopards, tigers, gorillas, chimpanzees, horses, mules, zebras, and elands. Who was the number Pope? The number Pope was Gerbert of Orlick, c. 
940-1003, Pope Sylvester II. He was fascinated by mathematics and was instrumental. In the adoption of Arabic numerals to replace Roman numerals in Western Europe. When was the term dinosaur first used? The term dinosaur was first used by Richard Owen. 1804 to 1892, in 1841 in his report on British fossil reptiles. The term, meaning fearful lizard was used to describe the group of large, extinct reptiles whose fossil remains had been found by many collectors. Which animals can run faster than a human? The cheetah, the fastest mammal, can accelerate from 0 to 45 miles, 64 kilometers, per hour in 2 seconds. It has been timed at speeds of 70 miles, 112 kilometers, per hour over short distances. In most chases, cheetahs average around 40 miles, 63 kilometers, per hour. Humans can run very short distances at almost 28 miles, 45 kilometers, per hour maximum. Most of the speeds given in the table below are for distances of one quarter mile, 0.4 kilometer When and by whom were clouds first classified The French naturalist Jean Lamarck 1744 to 1829 proposed the first system for classifying clouds in 1802. His work, however, did not receive wide acclaim. A year later the Englishman Luke Howard, 1772-1864, developed a cloud classification system that has been generally accepted and is still used today. Clouds are distinguished by their general appearance. Heap clouds and layer clouds, and by their height above the ground. Latin names and prefixes are used to describe these characteristics. The shape names are cirrus, curly or fibrous, stratus, layered, and cumulus, lumpy or piled. The prefixes denoting height are CO, high clouds with bases above 20,000 feet 6,096 meters. And ALTO, mid-level clouds from 6,500 to 20,000 feet 2,000 to 6,096 meters. There is no prefix for low clouds. NIMBO or NIMBUS is also added as a name or prefix to indicate that the cloud produces precipitation. Is there a name for the heart monitoring machine that people sometimes wear for a day or two while carrying on their normal activities? A portable version of the electrocardiograph, ECG, designed by J. J. Holter is called a Holter monitor. Electrodes attached to the chest are linked to a small box containing a recording device. 
the device records the activity of the heart. Do camels store water in their humps? The hump or humps do not store water, since they are fat reservoirs. The ability to go long periods without drinking water, up to 10 months if there is plenty. Of green vegetation and due to feed on, results from a number of physiological adaptations. One major factor is that camels can lose up to 40% of their body weight with no ill effects. A camel can also withstand a variation of its body temperature by as much as 14 degrees. A camel can drink 30 gallons of water in 10 minutes and up to 50 gallons over several hours. A one-humped camel is called a dromedary or Arabian camel. A Bactrian camel has two humps and lives in the wild on the Goba Desert. Today, the Bactrian is confined to Asia, while most of the Arabian camels are on African soil. What is the biological basis for DNA fingerprinting? British geneticist, Alec Jeffries, 1950, formulated the method of DNA fingerprinting. Also known as DNA typing or DNA profiling, based on the fact that unique genetic differences exist between individuals. Most DNA sequences are identical, but out of 100 base pairs of DNA, two people will generally differ by one base pair. Since there are 3 billion base pairs in human DNA, one individual's DNA will differ from another's by 3 million base pairs. To examine an individual's DNA fingerprint, the DNA sample is cut with a restriction endonuclease. And the fragments are separated by gel electrophoresis. The fragments are then transferred to a nylon membrane, where they are incubated in a solution. Containing a radioactive DNA probe that is complementary to specific polymorphic sequences. Which American states allow medical marijuana usage? Since 1996, 15 states and the District of Columbia have passed laws allowing the use of marijuana for medical purposes. These include Alaska, Arizona, California, Colorado, District of Columbia, Hawaii, Maine, Michigan, Montana, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, Oregon, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Washington. Depending on the state, patients may possess between one ounce, Alaska, Montana, Nevada, to 24 ounces, Oregon, Washington, of usable marijuana and grow their own plants. States also vary on which diseases are approved for treatment using marijuana. Who established the first botanical garden in the United States? John Bartram, 1699-1777, planned and laid out a botanical garden of 5 to 6 acres. 
2 to 2.5 hectare, in 1728. It is located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. What are the major groups of mollusks? There are four major groups of mollusks, 1, chitons, 2, gastropods, which includes nails, slugs, and nudibranchs, 3, bivalves, which include clams, oysters and mussels, and 4, cephalopods, which include squids and octopods. Although mollusks vary widely in external appearance, most share the following body plan, 1, a muscular foot, usually used for movement, 2, a visceral mass containing most of the internal organs, and 3, a mantle fold of tissue that drapes over the visceral mass and secretes a shell, in organisms that have a shell. What is the Königsberg Bridge problem? The city of Königsberg was located in Prussia on the Prejel River. Two islands in the river were connected by seven bridges. By the 18th century, it had become a tradition for the citizens of Konigsberg to go for a walk through the town trying to cross each bridge only once. No one was able to succeed, and the question was asked whether it was possible to do so. In 1736, Leonard Euler, 1707-1783, proved that it was not possible to cross the Konigsberg bridges only once. Euler's solution led to the development of two new areas of mathematics, graph theory, which deals with questions about networks of points that are connected by lines, and topology, which is the study of those aspects of the shape of an object that do not depend on length measurements. Is there life on Mars? The answer to this question still remains inconclusive. Data from the Phoenix mission to Mars confirmed the existence of water ice. In 2008, results of the Viking soil sample data have been disputed. Microfossil-like imprints contained in meteorites that originated from Mars may indicate early forms of life. Exploration of Mars continues with the Mars Exploration Rovers. Spirit and Opportunity, the Mars Odyssey Orbiter, and the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. What is the Toxic Substances Control Act, TOSCA? In 1976, the U.S. Congress passed the Toxic Substances Control Act, TOSCA. This act requires the pre market testing of toxic substances. When a chemical substance is planned to be manufactured, the producer must notify the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, and, if the data presented is determined to be inadequate to approve its use, 
the EPA will require the manufacturer to conduct further tests. Or, if it is later determined that a chemical is present at a level that presents an unreasonable public or environmental risk. Or if there is insufficient data to know the chemical's effects. Manufacturers have the burden of evaluating the chemical's characteristics and risks. If testing does not convince the EPA of the chemical's safety. The chemical's manufacturing, sale, or use can be limited or prohibited. Which elements are the hardest and softest? Carbon is both the hardest and softest element occurring in two different forms as graphite and diamond. A single crystal of diamond scores the absolute maximum value on the new hardness scale of 90. Based on the somewhat less informative abrasive hardness scale of Mohs. Diamond has a hardness of 10. Graphite is an extremely soft material with a Mohs hardness of only 0.5 and a Noop hardness of 0.12.